With three more COVID-19 deaths here in Greene County, Health Director Clay Goddard is still stressing the importance of the three pillars, testing, mitigation, and containment. Good evening, I'm Heather Lewis. Good to have you along here at 10 for the broadcast. I'm David Oliver. The Springfield Greene County Health Department and leaders for Springfield Public Schools held a news conference this afternoon, and our Francis Lynn was there to tell us what they had to say. Well, it's been almost seven months, but Health Director Clay Goddard says we are still in the middle of a pandemic. It's not over yet, and we need to work together to beat the virus. It's been seven months nearly, longest seven years of my life. In Greene County alone, our deaths have more than doubled. I also have my uh, first grandbaby on the way. We're going to do a drive through reception. Is that what we want to do? No. He reminds everyone that COVID-19 can change your life at any time. I've compared it to when a tornado goes through a neighborhood. You always have that one house that hasn't been touched, but you'll have another house that's off of its foundation. And also, now that we're heading into another allergy season, Goddard says it may be hard to tell the difference between allergy and COVID-19. COVID-19 symptoms. If you don't normally have a cough, for example, when your allergies are bugging you, you need to take that seriously. He says if you're in close contact with someone with COVID for more than 15 minutes, you could be exposed. So if your aunt calls and tells you she's positive and you had lunch while sitting close together and hugged afterwards, you're a close contact who should quarantine. And Springfield Public Schools' Jean Graybell says the district had 183 cases so far. This represents 53 staff and uh, 85 students. She explains the district's contact tracing protocols. Specific guidance is provided to anyone who must quarantine, including what quarantine means and the length of time that it is required. Goddard says there are mental health services around town to help you through a quarantine. It's okay to not be okay. And hopes everyone can come together to defeat the virus. The key takeaways for this are masking, physical distancing and immediate quarantining of direct contact. We shouldn't be wishing 2020 away, that we need to take action now and take this head on as a region. We as individuals, as organizations, and as communities have to start acting like we're in the middle of a pandemic again. Stay with it. This isn't going to be forever. Um, knock on wood. And Goddard also urges everyone to wash your hands, wear a mask, and watch your distance. Francis Lynn, Ozarks First.